All right, guys, Mark Crossfield here. More swing fixes coming at you. I like this one. We're going to give this one a go. This is quite a simple idea, and I do this a lot with students. It does really kind of surprise them that I'm not telling them to do something more technical often, which I find quite funny. Let's show you what I mean. We're going to maybe move path, definitely swing direction. Let's get stuck in. So interesting swing here. To me, it looks pretty, you know, it's quite handy, lots of good movements. He does look a little bit like he wants to swing this way. So to the left, I can't measure his up and downness. So uh, the swing direction definitely on the video is looking like it's going left. Now, if he's hitting down at the ball, his swing direction can be left and the path will be more right. So if I'm swinging down at the ball, my hoop will be going left, but when I strike the ball on the downward path, the path will be going straight, opposed to if I'm hitting up. So straight can be, if I'm hitting way up at the ball here, straight is here, even though swing direction will look like it's going way right. I hope that kind of makes sense. I've done other videos on that. If it doesn't, just look them up. Um, so what I do when I get students like this is I literally play with them. I kind of say, right, let's play with where you think straight is. So let's pretend for the purpose of the video that this person is swinging out to in, to the left, wants to change their path, wants to hit a different shape shot. Um, I would literally say, right, well, I want you to feel like you're swinging to the right. So try and swing in here and swing out to the right. Just try and move that club feeling like whatever you can do to swing to the right, which can be terms like, feel like you're swinging more around yourself. That doesn't do it as per se. You can swing any path from, uh, this is changing kind of vertical swing plane, but it is a term when said to certain people, certain people it, said it means nothing, but for people certainly like this, often it changes path within a swing. And you say to them, right, you then swung where? And they say, oh, I felt like I just swung way behind me in an out to the right and then you show them and you measure them show them the measured outcome and it's kind of too right you say look you need to feel that that's what you need to feel and then when you do start swinging way to the right so i actually try and get them to get out to like 10 to the right i say look there's your extremes don't feel that much feel a little less than that and they're the kind of terms you can only really go with when you're talking about face and path um, it's words like more and less because obviously if you could fine tune them into half a degree each time, even the world's best are using words like more and less. Um, if you could feel that exactly, you would ever, you know, you'd be such a controlled good golfer. So it's very common this one, it's an easy one, literally just feels like he's just picking it up and then turning to the left. Just stand there and just feel like you're swinging a bit more around, feel like you're swinging more, pulling the club towards you, hands away from you at impact. If you start finding you're hitting big blocks or you're getting big curvature, then bring that back to where you feel straight is. Not enough students stand on a range experimenting with both sides of straight. So I could swing left and then I could, on the next one, I could move my path. I think I've done this in videos, not really changing my setup. I'm going to swing out to the right and then I'm going to find in between those two. Too many people on ranges are trying to find perfect every time. Well, I'm actually quite keen to get people to feel both sides of zero of, of where it's well, not that is perfect let's pretend that is perfect for the argument um, so for me you swing fine you just swing a little bit to the left I'm not sure if you're seeing that feel like swinging to the right do what you feel needs to happen swing to the right bring your hands in push them out if it's more rounded and that does it then go with it see how it changes your strike see how it changes your shape I think you'll find it's quite simple for you because you've got a lot of good actions in there hope that helps post comments down below speak to you soon thanks for watching Subscribe to my YouTube channel for loads more videos. Find me on Instagram at CrossfieldMark. Also on Twitter at 4GolfOnline. Find me on Facebook, Mark Crossfield. Thanks for watching. Post comments as always and see you soon.